Thousands of Afghans found refuge in the United States after the fall of Kabul one year ago. Yeah, tonight our Lauren Adams talks to a father of three who was forced to start over, but is forever grateful to have the chance to do so. The images are hard to shake. One year ago, as the Taliban took control of Afghanistan, people rushed to flee their country and mothers parted with their children. The scene was the Kabul airport, but Sahir Abernihi and his wife decided as Christians it was too dangerous to get out, so they went into hiding. Well, the only purpose we must save our, li our life and our children. When the family of five later tried to escape, they had a brush with death. Taliban uh, took my hand and drew, and my children is cried. My family cried very loudly. Yeah, because that time <laughs> we thought everything is finished. The American military intervened, and weeks later they were headed to the U.S. Thanks to the help of Catholic charities, the family settled in Louisville. Zahir and his wife now both work at GE. They live in a furnished apartment, and they have been gifted two cars, including this Toyota, donated by a good Samaritan who drove across the country. He drove his nice own car from California to here for me, for gift, a gift for me. Zahir says he is living the American dream, something he'd only seen in the movies. Just over a year ago, his family was hiding out, living in a car or tents in fear of their lives. Now he is rebuilding in a place he says he is happy and lucky to call home. American people, the people here is very, very generous. Lord.